What is up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to repair your headliner. Cause I know there's a lot of commies out there with really shitty headliners. So, so yesterday I started by prepping everything, pulling everything apart. So I got a couple clips here that I'll chuck in now and that's from prepping everything. So I'll chuck them here. So that's only a couple layers, that's only a couple squares of sound deadener. Now you don't normally need to put it on your roof, but with the way the vibrations will come from the engine, I just want to make it so that like literally as you can hear, it's stopping the vibrations just because it's going to rattle the car like a tin can. So just, just a couple squares, you don't need massive coverage for those. Um, and now we'll chuck on all this, cut it to size, get it in all the nooks and crannies and it should sound incredible in there. Alrighty, so now you come to the stage where you can see how easily this is failing because it's just literally falling off. So I'm barely putting any pressure on that and it's just coming off. But the only thing is all this yellow crap, we have to get that off so that the glue will adhere properly. So you literally just pull off the old one. I'm literally doing this one-handed, that's how easy it is. And then uh, you get a brush or something and you get all this crap off and it's really messy, so do it outside. All righty, I'll get the rest of this off and then I'll go get a brush and we'll start attacking this. Alrighty, so I have this Y brush here. You can see it does get kind of messy, but you get it from this side to that. It's really easy to do, especially when it gets a bit warmer. It comes off so easy. Um, but yeah, you have to make sure you get all of it off, otherwise it's not gonna stick properly. Um, little bits of it do still stay around, but this is this is part of the easy steps. And as well, this, uh, this headliner is in really, really good condition. The headliner from the old wagon, um, it had like cracks in it, it was folding, it had weak spots all along the edges just here. So it's really good to see that this one is in pretty much perfect condition. So I'll try and keep it that way and try not to ruin it. Um, but yeah, so I'll set up a time lapse now and show you how, how quick that all of this comes off. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Alrighty, this headliner is ready for its new trim. Alrighty, so we pretty much have an entire headliner ready to take the uh, material kind of thing. Um, and then we also have all of our black freshly painted trim pieces to go in the car, like against the headliner kind of thing. Alrighty, so let's get into it. To repair your headliner, this is what you will need. You'll of course need your headliner that is prepped and ready to go. 3M spray adhesive that'll actually keep it stuck and keep it sticking long term and will never come off. This stuff is kind of expensive compared to most stuff that's on the market, but you want to do it once and do it right. If you don't want to have to go and pull the freaking headliner out all over again, which is really, really freaking annoying, make sure you get good stuff. It is, yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, but it will be a lot more worth it when you've gone and installed it and it's not going to start peeling back on these harder corners. And finally, you need your material. You can't just use any special material. This um, this is a thicker material kind of thing, but the main thing is it needs to be for a four-way stretch. So it can stretch this way, and then it can also stretch this way too. And that is because when you lay it down, it needs to be able to push into here easily. If you don't get a four-way stretch material, it's just gonna be a bit more difficult. It can be done, but I would really recommend using a four-way stretch material just because it makes it so much easier it's so simple that you feel like it's it shouldn't be that simple yeah words all righty so first of all i'm going to flip this over and with the glue i'm going to coat the back side of the edges so that when you tuck the edges you can stick them on the other side and they're going to last so with these particular type of adhesives they actually need some time to tack up before they get to their best level of stickiness i don't know um, so they recommend one minute to 60 minutes for two surfaces. So we will coat both surfaces when we're putting it down. So I'll spray this underside first, then I'll spray the top side. I'll probably flip it over and do it in halves so that I can maintain, uh, so that I can, uh, work with the material a bit easier. Um, so we'll start with coating the edges. And the good thing about this stuff is there is like next to no overspray from this. It is a very tacky, uh, tight spray pattern. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's really good. It's not like paint. You don't get overspray. So you can do this pretty much everywhere. It still will get a little bit messy if you go over the edges, but it's not too bad. Alrighty. So I'll show you how to coat the edges now, and then we'll flip it over. We'll coat half of it and that's it. So around all the holes that you're going to cut out too, you need to do it around those edges. 
Alright, first major fail that's going to freaking ruin this project. Turns out that this fabric that I've got here is way too thin and it shows through underneath the ugliness. Like it looks like it's perfectly flat, but this stuff is too thin. You can still see everything through it. Well, that's freaking annoying. Well, he had to drive all over town just to try and find something that would work because the material I used last time, no one seems to stock anymore. And the last material I used was this sick hexagon stitched freaking suede. Well, I guess we're going back to the shop to get more of this shit. God, that's so freaking frustrating. Spent all day trying to find this yesterday. And look at that. So, there's your first don't. Don't use anything that's too bloody thin. Typical situation. If it's too good to be true, it probably isn't going to bloody work out. All right, let's try this again. What you will need is your clean and prepped headliner. Your glue. Not a shitty thin material because you'll see it through the textures. More expensive, thicker product. So this, it, it is a shame that this is like a square stitched. I had one that was exactly like this before. This is like a suede um, and it was hexagonal stitched. And it just, it looked a lot cooler. So now we can prep again. All right, so I'll fold this out, flip it over, and then we'll do half at a time. All right, so now if you are going to use something with a pattern, make sure that you spend the time to uh, line it up against all of the uh, edges and everything like that and the contours because once it's in the car and stuck down, if it's not dead straight, you're gonna be able to see it. So now that I've got this lined up, I'll set up the tripod. We'll flip back half of this and we'll do it half at a time. Good, I hope I'm gonna have enough, enough to do the whole headliner. Now, I'm gonna let this sit for 40 minutes to an hour, properly tack up, and then, uh, then we'll, we can come lay it all down. All right, so it's now been roughly half an hour. Now, I wanna mainly keep, like I was saying before, keep it so that the, uh, everything stays directional in the right, in the right way. Now, like a vinyl, you know, pull it back. You don't want to stretch into the concave areas. You want to lay into them. All right, so now we do the other side. Then I'll just pull to where the stuff pulling. And the good thing about this stuff is it's like pr proper, like it's a proper adhesive for upholstery. So it doesn't soak into the material. So you can't see it coming from the other side, which is really good. Now, uh, I could already feel that, that front half was uh, perfectly sticking down and it's gonna be very permanent, um, which is great news. So I'll uh, let this sit for another half hour. We'll come out, we'll put this other side on and then we can start trimming it oh, as well. Picnic merch on the website, link in description, uh, picnicmedia.com. We've only got a couple more of these left. So make sure if you want to get one, get them now before they sell out. Alrighty, half an hour on that one and counting, and we put it on, then we get to put it in the car. Then we can put all the rest of the trim panels that are freshly painted into the car, and then good to go, looking mint. So I went to give these a bloody polish and I have no idea what happened with the clear coat, but it's all ruined. I have to wet sand all this back, created a whole crap of work that I didn't need to freaking, like I didn't need, I could have just freaking polished them and not touched them, but whatever. Man, I'm not freaking liking this car today. Oh, so many things just not going the way I want. The freaking material that they gave me is not a four-way stretch. Like I said, you freaking need for it. So it's been a freaking nightmare to work with, getting it all, oh man, I'm just, oh. You know when you just have those days where everything just seems to be going against you? Ah, oh, I just want to break something and burn the freaking car to the ground. Oh, I hate doing all this fiddly shit. Like why, why, why does it have to do that? Why? All right, I'm gonna need, I need to go sit down and have a breather or something before I 
start breaking crap. Oh, all right, so I'm sitting in here now. I'm not too happy with it. I think it's gonna it's gonna have to do for now, but it's pretty ugly. I'm not not too happy with it. It's gonna have to be redone at some point. I mean, it looks pretty good on camera. I put like those back trim pieces in, so you can see like just here and here. So it's all black and it looks pretty cool. But yeah, especially at the front here, it's just like up in this corner. Yeah, this corner is just too much of a too like too much of a curve for this type of fabric. Annoyingly, I rushed to buy this fabric because. They literally had nothing else. They really freaking let me down this time. I, like last time I went, they literally had so many options I could choose from anything. And then this time, yeah, see, look how it's just bagging up in this corner. It's just it's all gonna have to get redone, which is freaking annoying. But it'll stay in here for now at least. Kind of get it out of the way. It's just all a shit fight. I've just, this all sucks. I am so over this right now and it is just so annoying. So I'm probably going to wrap it up for here today before I end up breaking stuff because this is just so damn frustrating. And it sucks because the rest of the headliner came out freaking mint and it actually looks really nice and really cool in here. But literally the one part you see right in front where you got this insane corner just here, it just, it's shit. It's freaking shit. And I can't stand it. See, it's done it on this side too. It's just shit. It just won't work. It, it's failing and it's all just bunching up here. If it was towards the back that it was doing this, I wouldn't care because you don't see it. But it's the damn front and of course you see that. But anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk or half spilt milk. The rest of it all turned out sick except for that freaking front part. But ooh, it's nice and solid now. A um, couple trim pieces installed in the inside. Um, I have to swap over the front seat belt, so I can't put in the, uh, the B pillars yet, but God, oh, these rear bits turned out pretty sick. Now this side is damaged because like literally damaged because this was, uh, took the brunt of the force and the crash, but this is actually from the side. Like this is actually from the other car. So I got these, the plastic at the top and around the side, the whole thing paint, like painted black and there. I could go and get this trim piece for here and it'd make that look a lot more finished too. But yeah, if you actually look from back here, the headliner looks sick. But of course, it's a massive letdown having that front bit that's stuffed up. But I don't know, we'll, we'll leave it for now. I won't cry over it too much, but uh, yeah, I'm still a little bit disappointed by it. But yeah, we did get some updates on the injector hat. It's almost done. We've got some photos of that uploaded on the Instagram. So if you want to go check those out, go jump over on Instagram, chuck us a follow. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave today because all of this crap is just annoying the shit out of me right now. And I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to end this here, finish with it for the day. Because uh, like I said before, if I keep freaking going and end up breaking something because it's just really not happening for me today and it is super annoying. So going to wrap it up here. Catch you guys in the next one, which will be Monday at 6pm. Be there or be square. Alrighty, guys. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing. This paper got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat. I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly. It's turning to envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm